I got a Granberg mill for Mother's Day, so I'm going to show you how that works. I also got a rail system, and you'll find the link in the notes below. It says on the instructions that you need to make sure you have at least a 24 inch mill. Well, my mill is a 36 inch mill, plenty big, but it's limited by the length of the saw bar. My saw bar is only about a 20 inch bar, so that means I've got about a 14 inch cut that I can do. So what I devised was I am using a set of, actually these are bed rails, uh, but you could use just angle iron to clamp in and that'll let you bring the width all the way down to maybe six or eight inches, which is probably about the minimum width that you're gonna want. It helps you level everything out on the log and I'll show you how we do that. The first step is to remove all the bark because that's harder on the chainsaw and any little branch nibs like this. I'm gonna be using a draw knife to get rid of the bark. That's the easiest way. And we'll just cut these extra branch nibs off with a other chainsaw. Okay, so I made sure that the rails are level with each other on each end. That way my cut going across will be pretty much straight across. I have to have these pretty high up because the screws are really long on here. I could cut the screws off, but I don't really want to do that. Um, I did cut these rails off a little bit because they'd be too wide for my saw to pass by them. So I cut them down to something that my saw will pass every time. So the distance from the screw to where the rail rests is right at about seven and a half inches or so. I should be able to do a seven and a half, seven and three quarter inch to be really safe. Don't want to cut into these screws. Okay, I'm going to raise the, raise the bar uh, to seven and a half. Actually, I'm going to go a little closer to eight just to make sure because I can always use that top piece if it's got a flat surface, it'll be fine to uh, cut it off on the bandsaw a little bit more. Okay, that's good and loose. There's markings on both bars here so you can see how deep your cut is. And I'll just raise that up to eight inches. Okay, that ought to be good. I made sure all the rest of my fittings are good and snug before I started the whole process here. So, okay. You need to tap these in once you have everything leveled and in place. That'll help lock everything so it doesn't move around on you. You don't want to force the saw through, you want to just let it kind of pull itself through with its own force. Um, you also want to keep the saw fairly square to the rails and not seesaw it back and forth as you go through the log. After cutting about a foot into the log, it's time to insert a wedge in the end. That will keep the weight of the wood from pinching the bar. The wedges are inserted at about every two feet or so down the log. Two and an eighth. There's no need for the rail system after the first cut. If you've done the job properly, the mill should ride on the flat surface of the log. 
The process is pretty much the same as for making that first cut, putting wedges every two feet. I had to cut the last slab a little bit thinner than the others. Can't wait to cut into some maple. So in summary, I'd say that this guide rail system works really well. I'm really pleased with the adaptation we made that we had to do because of our smaller chainsaw. I think it'll work great when I can attach it to the ladder. It's got some clamps that'll kind of hook around the edges of the ladder lip. On the angle iron, I don't have that extra lip for it to grab into, but it still holds it just fine and keeps everything really solid. So I get a first good straight cut. That's mostly what I'm after. I'm going to give it a five star rating. If, if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like our video. It'll help other people find it. And even Grandma can mill with a Granberg. <laughs> 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 <laughs>